Hi everyone, Cynthia Luca here. I'd like to share with you a royal crown that I made. Um, the base of this crown is made of all of Sawcrafters filigrees and I will show you underneath. They are all just glued and linked together all the way around and I did two different styles. Let me show you. have any left. Yes, I do. Okay, so this one, and I rounded them, and I kept these ones bronze. I like the bronze look for this one. And where's the other one? Um, it's like this, but it's smaller. Is that it right there? Yeah. And this one, of course, is one that I put uh, metal mixatives on, but um, I just linked them around and I did four of each, so it was eight all the way around. Um, and then, on each one in the center, I um, glued another one, which uh, I don't have any more of those. Um, and this is just the square, and I bent the, the corners in, because um, I didn't want it to be square. And then I gotta clean all the hot glue strings off. Um, and then I just um, glued on all of these blings and embellishments. These are um, flat back pearls. All the flat back pearls are from Sawcrafter. Um, this uh, uh, buckle is from Sawcrafter. And then all these blings are just a big bag that I got at Joanne's a while ago. And then I used these bling. Um, it was just a cheap box at Michael's. Um, I think they were like $3.99. Some of them um, have an iridescence and some do not. So of course I tried to use all the iridescence ones. Um, I will also have photos at the end so you can get a closer look at everything. Um, for this I used some trim from One Little Dreamer. Isn't that beautiful? I love that trim. I still have a ton left. can't believe I have so much left. Um, and then... Um, this is a big bobble that I just added more bling and rhinestones around and then some more halfback pearls. And then I took a piece of satin. When I was all done constructing everything, there's wire underneath these pieces. There's two pieces of real thick aluminum wire um, just to hold these up. And then um, I took a piece of satin, just a square, and it was probably, I don't know, 18 inches by 18 inches, and I did a a real wide running stitch all the way around, put a little bit of stuffing in it, put pushed it up inside, and then I cut a piece of chipboard that would hold it in there nice and snug so this can set, you know, wherever I want it, you know, in my um, family room. I have a shelf, and um, I just that's where I display a bunch of, like, the wedding projects I've made and the bridal sets and stuff, so this will go in there with that. Um, so anyway... Um, I had a lot of fun making this one day. I was just sitting there and I was looking at crowns um, for Halloween costumes and it just hit me. Those filigrees would be perfect to make a crown. So I'm going to do a fast play tutorial, which means there will be no speaking. It will be all music and I'm just going to pretty much fast play everything I'm doing. And I'm going to make a tiara and I am going to use her filigrees and I've already colored them with silver metal mixatives. Um, that's a really good medium. I really like that. And I'm going to use this um, headband that <clears throat> I found sitting around the house. This will be perfect. It'll sit just nicely snug on the head, but not too tight. Um, and I'm going to add some bling and stuff, and you'll see everything else. But um, I just wanted to tell you about that before I started. So, And you can use all kinds of different trims. Like, um, I don't know how many of you know about One Little Dreamer. Um, but she has an amazing shop. I just love her goodies. And she just got this trim in right here. And uh, in very limited amount. And I think it's $10 a yard. But, I mean, could you imagine just buying a necklace? Let me zoom in so you can just see how beautiful this stuff really is. And it's heavy, too. So, I mean, look at that. As a, as a bracelet, it's just gorgeous. And you could just add a clasp and, you know, sell a bracelet. Anyway, um, 
I got two yards of this. She was so sweet. She sent me a little bit just so that I could see what it was and how it was. And oh, I just love her. Um, she is awesome. So if you're watching Artie, thank you. I love, 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 love your stuff. I am madly in love with it. Um, let me show you a couple other trends that she has that are just gorgeous. I mean, this is the stuff that, you know, we see, you know, jewelry made out of in stores. And I don't know, I just drool over it. But I actually, I mean, look at how much of this there is. I think these come in two yard increments or... Yeah, this had to have come in two yard increments. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. There's so much of it. Um, so, I mean, that would be great for a handbag handle if you could part with that much because this is definitely a hoard worthy item. <laughs> and then this beautiful um, acrylic leaves and they have little rhinestones in them and it just has just enough bling. I mean, that would be a beautiful bracelet. Or necklace as well um, so if you were just buying a necklace it would be way more than what you paid for the entire yard or two yards that you're getting so anyway there's just a couple of samples of some trims you can use if you're interested in making a crown or tiara um, I don't know if this, I'm gonna get this uploaded in time if you guys want to if you guys have a little princess or a queen or something that you can make one but I'm gonna try and get this made and hurry up and uploaded so um, all the materials I'll be using is just like some acrylic bling, some crystals, um, Sawcrafters filigrees, and I'll put a link to these in the description. And um, stay tuned for the fast play and some photos at the end.
Okay, so here is the finished tiara, and I will have pictures on it. My light I had to unplug because my camera was dying, so I hope that some of it showed up. Um, or I hope it showed up good enough um, for you guys to see what I was doing. Um, so I hope that you like this tutorial, and I will have links in the description. Also, check out my blog post for detailed photos. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.